You know how Red Wing is known for their rugged, workwear inspired heritage boots? Well, eventually that work week ends and we get to enjoy the weekend. The Weekender Chucka Boot is Red Wing's attempt at a relaxed weekend boot with rugged workday construction and heritage materials. So are these work boots disguised as casual boots? Casual boots meant to take a beating or just something else altogether? Welcome to Stray Reviews, I'm Lee and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today, I'm reviewing the Red Wing Heritage Weekender Chucka Boot in copper rough and tough. These Red Wings come in oil tanned leather from Red Wings own SB Foot Tannery in Minnesota and I love the smell of them. They are the popular copper rough and tough leather which is an oiled and waxed nubuck leather. Now these bad boys are unlined except for the textile lining in the toe box but they still have a super comfortable removable footbed that Red Wing calls their Comfort Force footbed. Sitting beneath the Comfort Force is a Texon fiberboard insole and a hill wedge outsole. Red Wing says that the sole is inspired by raw plantation rubber, but it feels a lot like a TPU outsole to me. These boots are stitched down constructed and can most likely be resold by your local cobbler. So you should be able to keep the whole weekend vibe going for a pretty long time. The Weekender Chucka is of course made in the USA and they sell for $250, which is a decently steep price for a Chucka boot. If you want to take a closer look at these, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. The Weekender Chucka seems to have the makings of like the perfect weekend boot for those who love Red Wing craftsmanship and materials. But are they worth that $250 price? Let's get into the good, the bad and the bottom line. All right, let's start off with the good of the Red Wing Weekender Chucka. First of all, these really do have a terrific, versatile look to them. They're casual, but they can still be worn to the office. You can wear them on a date or to church or to the bank, all without looking stuffy or too dressed up. They're also pretty comfortable for an unlined heritage style boot. And this is due in part to that comfort force footbed, but also in part to how light these things are. At just over one pound each, these are some of the lightest, if not the lightest chukka boots I own. Now, if you own other Red Wings, then you are probably familiar with just how hardy the leather is. The Copper Rough and Tough is really no exception and I've heard that Copper Rough and Tough is actually Red Wing's most popular leather. One of the things that people like about this leather is how it takes on so much character so quickly. Now for me, it only took like a couple walks across the room for my chukkas to lighten from brown to like orange at every place that the leather bends. And if you take a closer look, then you'll see that in each of the creases, you have this sort of amber color, orange color blooming amidst the brown. However, with that said, I do personally prefer to earn the character that my boots take on. And I like them to look the way that they look on the sales page just a little bit longer than the Weekenders did. Hey, if you like to earn that worn look, then tap that like button for me. All right, let's talk about the bad of the Red Wing Weekender Chucka boot. I think that the biggest complaint that I have about the Weekender is that the fit just doesn't line up with say other Red Wings. Now I know everybody's foot is shaped differently and this is a pretty subjective marker, but the sales page does say to go down a half size 
And that was true of all my other Red Wings. I did do that. I did go down a half size. And the fit kind of is there, but it doesn't really leave me much room to wiggle my toes or maybe wear thicker socks. They're just tight enough where I wish I had more space, but sizing up would most likely be too big. Now for reference, I am a size 10 on the Brannock device, and I normally take a nine and a half in most boots, and that's where I went with the Weekender Chuckas. I could take out the footbed and get a better fit, but there goes a lot of the comfort that these Chuckas come with as well. Now, maybe in time the footbed will compress and uh, maybe that will give me more room while still <laughs> supplying some of the comfort. The other thing that concerns me about the boot is the sole and the lack of information about what it's made from kind of leaves me assuming that it's a type of PU or TPU, which typically isn't the longest lasting material for soles. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to last. It just means that they're not going to hold up like a rubber sole would. If you've had a pair of weekenders for a while, can you let me know in the comments how they've held up for you? I would appreciate that so much and I think a lot of other people would too. All right, I'm gonna give you my bottom line opinion, but if you're getting some value out of this today, then I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you'll catch my upcoming reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that the Red Wing Weekender Chukka boot is a great heritage inspired, casual, everyday boot for anyone who appreciates the Red Wing materials and quality and construction. If you like me, you might have to work to get the sizing right, or maybe go to a Red Wing store to pick them up and try them on. But in the end, it'll be worth it. If you want to see these chukkas compared to three other chukkas, then check out this video here. I want to thank Huckberry for providing these boots for review. My opinions are my own. And I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you over in the next video.